Hello, this is a video tutorial on how to do stage two of NICER data analysis, which is spectrum and light curve product extraction. Um, so, but right before we get into that, if you have any questions at all during this process, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below, and I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible. Let's get started. To start, there are a few prerequisites that you will need to take care of before you're able to extract a spectrum or light curve from NICER data. As you can see on the screen, first you will need to process slash reduce your NICER dataset. If you have not done that or are confused on how to do that, I have a previous tutorial that is linked in the description on how to process your NICER data with NICER L2. The second thing is that you will need enough disk space available on your machine to do this extraction. Some of the tools in this process create a lot of large but temporary files when extracting these products. So I would personally recommend at least 20 gigabytes of free space depending on the size of the data set that you are using. In some extreme cases, you may need more space, but generally, if you have 20 gigs available, that will be fine. Now, as a general overview, you can see the steps we will take on the screen. You will see that I say there are three steps, but I list four. That is because steps two and three are done at the same time, effectively giving us three steps. Step one will be Barry Center correcting our clean event file. Steps two and three are making energy range corrections to eliminate noise and extracting a spectrum. To reiterate, again, both of these are done at the same time. The last and final step is extracting a light curve. Okay, so let's do step one, which is the Berry Center correction. We're going to do that with a tool called Berry Core. And the first thing we're going to need to set is our, our input file. This is going to be uh, our MPU7 uh, clean event file here. So you can see I'm typing in NI, our observation ID, then underscore, uh, underscore zero, MPU7, underscore CL, dot evt and then we need to set our output file this is going to be the rewritten berry center corrected file so all you can see that i do is i just take out the ni and add a bc with the same naming scheme in there as before okay so the third thing we need to set is our orbit file and to do this we're going to type orbit files equals and then we're going to navigate our way to the auxiliary directory of our data set Let's extract that really quickly and then we're just going to drag and drop that file into place to get the path name you could just as easily type that in if necessary the last thing we're going to set is our reference frame after deleting the quotation marks and we're going to type ref frame equals icrs and then hit enter and we should be ready to go unfortunately i did not initialize he so let's do that and now we can run that same command again, and the Barry Center correction happens. Okay, so next the tool we need to use is called xSelect. It's going to ask us to name our session. You can call it whatever we want. Then we're going to type read event, and then our Barry Center corrected MPU7 cleaned event file. Then it's going to ask for our clean event file directory. So we're going to type in the path to that. And that's going to say... New, detect, new mission detected, nicer, yes, obviously we want to do that. Now let's extract our spectrum by typing in extract spectrum and hitting enter. And we're going to see a spectrum extracted. To plot that, just type plot spectrum, and there we go, we have the spectrum. Now you can see right here we have a little chirp right at the beginning at the low energy range of the spectrum, so we're going to need to get rid of that. Okay, so to make the energy range correction, we're going to type the same extract spectrum command as before. Then we're going to type in PHA L cut underscore T equals 25 and PHA H cut underscore T equals 1200 to set our energy range between channel 25 and 1200. We're going to extract that spectrum and plot it. And you can see our chirp at the beginning is gone. Now that chirp is actually introduced from the detector itself. So you're going to need to make this energy range correction on most, if not all, nicer data sets and that falls right in line with what uh, the nicer FAQ guide sit states which is linked in the description okay so now to save the spectrum you're just going to type in the command save spectrum and then you're going to be prompted to name the spectrum file uh, once it gets written and saved now you're not going to see that on the screen because I don't need to save a spectrum file but now what we're going to do is we're going to extract our light curve now that we've established our energy range correction. And we're going to do that just by t 
typing the same command as before, just deleting spectrum and adding in curve. Now let's plot that curve you just saw me extract, and we're good to go. Okay, so now that I'm actively doing some work, we're going to reset this uh, light curve with a new bin size of 90,000. And let's extract that light curve again, just like before. And as you can see, we have one solid data point, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, now similar to the spectrum, if we want to save this light curve, we just type in the command save curve, and then we're going to be prompted to name our light curve, and then it's going to be written and saved as such. Now one thing I want to quickly preface is that the bin size you just saw me set is specific to my research. Depending on the research work that you're trying to do, that bin size is going to probably be different. But anyways, that is how you extract a light curve and or spectrum from nicer data. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful at all, consider interacting with the video in some way via a like comment or share so that this video can rank better in the algorithm and if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing otherwise thank you so much for watching